Welcome! Today, we'll be going through question 3 from the Japanese Maths Olympiad 1997. Let G be a graph with 9 vertices. Suppose that given any 5 vertices of G, there exist at least 2 edges with both endpoints among the 5 vertices. What is the minimum possible number of edges in G? Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one, try finding a way to calculate a lower bound for the number of edges of G and then show that that lower bound is indeed the minimum through an example. So for example, show that the number of edges of G is at least X and then show that X works by giving an example. Hint number two, consider a graph of n vertices and x edges, which is the minimum number to satisfy the conditions. So for example, for n equals five, x would be two. Add a vertex to the graph. Now we have a graph of n plus one vertices. What is the new number of edges required to satisfy the conditions of the problem? Alternatively, try creating an inequality linking n, x, and the new number of edges. Hint number three. For each vertex of the new graph, consider the number of edges of the graph that are left. If we take that vertex and the edges whose end point is that vertex. So for this vertex here, we would take that vertex and that edge, and the number will be two because there are two remaining edges. Which two things can you say about these numbers? Hint number four, what is the sum of these numbers equal to? What are each of these numbers greater than. Solution. We will begin by thinking about the problem more generally. Let an be the minimum number of edges required to satisfy the conditions for a graph with n vertices. Now let's add a vertex to the graph. And so some edges must also be added to the graph to satisfy the conditions of the problem. Now for each vertex of that new graph, consider the number of edges of the graph that are left if we take that vertex and the edges whose endpoint is that vertex. So for example, for this red vertex here, we take that vertex and the edge whose endpoint is that vertex and our number is two because there are two remaining edges. Let this number be EI. Now, we know that EI must be greater or equal to AN. This is because this new graph has N vertices and must also satisfy the conditions of the problem and so it must have AN edges, the minimum number of edges required. So EI is greater or equal to AN. We also know that the sum of all the EIs, so the sum of all the numbers, is equal to n minus 1 multiplied by a n plus 1. This is because each edge is accounted for n plus 1 times take away 2. So the number of vertices in the graph take away 2, which are the two edges, which are the endpoints of that edge. Now combining these two results, we get n minus 1 multiplied by a n plus 1 equal to the sum of all the EIs, which is greater or equal to n plus 1 multiplied by a n. Rearranging, we get a n plus 1 is greater or equal to n plus 1 divided by n minus 1 multiplied by a n. Now, we know that a5 is equal to 2 because if we have five points, then we just need two edges, 
And there's only way we can pick those five points and that will guarantee that those five points will have two edges. Now using this inequality, we get a6 greater or equal to three, a7 greater or equal to five, a8 greater or equal to seven, and finally, a9 greater or equal to nine. We will be done if we can show an example of such a graph with nine vertices. We can split those nine vertices into three groups of three, and in each group of three, we create a triangle with the edges as shown in the diagram. Now, by pigeonhole principle, either three points from one triangle are chosen, or we can find two triangles from which two points each are chosen. Now, in either case, we can find two edges in the group of the five vertices chosen, and so the minimum number of edges is nine. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.